I'm starting the day with some spinach. So yeah, I guess it's breakfast. Spinach with onions. I feel a little bit unwell today. A little bit unwell. Which is very bizarre because I haven't had a cold in years and years and years, even before COVID, because I always wear my mask. Or if I, before COVID, I started to put Vicks on my nose routinely, like when I interact in public, just because, you know, you know, I don't like being sick. I don't like getting colds. And sometimes my colds get like a little complicated, you know what I mean? So COVID was great because then I had an excuse to wear a mask all, mask all the time. And so I never got the COVID and da, 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 da. But recently, for some reason, I found myself taking the mask off just a little bit more. Not all the time, but, you know, I'd sneak like I went to Christie's one day and no one was wearing a mask. And it was just the kind of venue where I felt a little bit, I don't know. And I shouldn't have because why? Because it's so fancy, because everyone's so rich, because da, 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 da. I don't know. I mean, it doesn't mean that they can't have COVID or, or other whatever. So, but I didn't wear my mask in this environment. And, and then there are a few times in the gym also where I, um, did I put water? Do you, do you remember if I put water? I think I just put water. I, I don't want to make a smoke. Well, anyway, um, but anyway, so I woke up this morning, the, the nose was stuffy, so I'm all fixed up at the moment, and um, I'm going to make some spinach and onion. Why? I don't know, because I'm desperate. I'm like, what What do I do to stop this? So I put some, um, some very thick salt. Now this salt, oh, it's already melted. This salt is very coarse, very, very coarse um, salt, if you can see. This is not the original sal divisa, okay? This is not the original. I bought this years and years ago um, at the Le Bon Marché. Le Bon Marché, the same place where I bought the, well, it's in the sink, <laughs> where I bought the um, the copper pot years ago and I saved up for it. You know, I don't want to say anything bad about the copper pot. I know I said it wasn't my favorite, but I still love my pot. It's just that. You know, it's very expensive, took a long time to save up for, and then, you know, whatever. But maybe I had too high expectations. But so I bought this also there, the Sal de Visa, and I just love the packaging so much that I kept the bottle all these years. And whenever it's empty, I refill it with more salt. <laughs> so, yeah, I highly recommend it. I mean, in in a you know a kitchen that is a cozy you know some people don't care about their kitchen when I mean, you can tell immediately when you walk in they don't give a crap you know and that's okay that's okay right but there are other people who just love kitchens they love their kitchen they love the details of their kitchen they love you know selecting certain types of products for their kitchen a certain look a certain finesse and um and i'm one of those people you know even though i'm on a budget i've always been on a budget i always seek to get the very best i can for my kitchen right and this sometimes includes like products like salt you know but i can't buy this all the time i buy it once and when it when it's finished i um i uh, i refill it with other types of salt so sue me okay <laughs> Okay, it comes with its own little spoon, which I've kept all these years as well. <laughs> Breakfast. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to try some ginger tea. I'm definitely, in the, I'm sick. <laughs> I'm sick and it's like, um, it's been a while since I felt this. I'm freezing, first of all. The nose is running. I don't know how this could possibly have happened because I'm so vigilant with my mask, except for a couple of exceptions, you know. But the thing is, I can't and won't allow myself to be sick, right? So I have to have my ginger tea and then I have to go out. I, just, I can't do it. I can't do it. All right, which cup do you think will make me feel better? <laughs> Which cup will make me feel better? Um, I'm thinking maybe this one. <laughs> this one with the reindeer. It's a Christmas cup. But you know, I've really started Christmas early in my house anyway. I've already put up my tree. 
and um, yeah, I use my bread knife to cut the the, um, the ginger because I do have other knives, but they're also dull. And the thing that I have to to sharpen my knife, it doesn't do anything. I have this thing. I'm gonna put some of these leaves in there. And then I'm going to find some honey. There might be a little bit of honey left, right? It could be. Uh, apparently there is no honey, so I'm going to go in with some of this blackberry syrup. <laughs> oh my god, okay. So I'm with this one. You can barely taste the blackberry syrup. So maybe I don't need so much syrup. Yeah, so this is the final tea. What do you think? Are these these are not baileys? I don't even know what these are. These are just leaves that I I got. What is it called? I have to look this up. Leaves of Laurier. Laurier leaves. What's that what does that mean in English? I don't know, but it, it tastes like tea, tea leaves, in fact. So I have that, and I have ginger and some lemon juice and some blackberry syrup, and I'm going to drink that, and then I'm going, I'm going to try to go to the gym just for my usual, you know, 30 minutes, because oh, I don't think I've been to the gym all week, or maybe just once, and... Um, even though I'm not feeling very well, I'm going to try to go to the gym for a little bit. Maybe pick up some things at the grocery store to eat. You know, I could try to do maybe a, a video today on what do I eat in Paris when I'm sick. <laughs> oh, that sounds like an idea to motivate myself to go. Because it's freezing. I'm really cold. My feet, my neck. Just, I'm freezing, you know. It's, but I have to keep going. I can't, like, be sick. It's not possible. Right? Right? Do you agree? Do you agree? I thought I would just have a little something something before I go to the gym, you know, because I feel like I need extra like strength and whatever. So I had these in the pantry for a while. They look like they've been there a while, don't they? So I'm just sort of like getting them warm in this um this pot what do you call this pot this is a um oh my god a grill it's like a grill right so i'm gonna just grill them a little bit not really but just to get them warm like three of them with some egg and i'm going to have that for lunch i'm going to flurry the eggs with some special salt this salt is very healthy but it's not it doesn't have iodine so i don't use it a lot like it just sits there you know for years because i use it very very seldom but it's actually quite healthy and it's very famous like the french really love it it's like a gray salt right and it's from um britain Brittany in france you know from the sea it's like a coarse gray salt and it's harvested every day in summer from the clay beds of the salt marshes which is what gives it the gray color and it's unwashed unrefined and additive free the fine table salt is made from dried gray salt which is crushed and sifted it can be used for seasoning and as a table salt so yeah it's it's very famous like you know people, the french really believe in it and they use it a lot but for me i always like to take my salt with iodine so i typically take it with iodine i mean i have you know different types of salt to be honest but yeah so let's um did I throw this in I already forgot whether I threw this in or not did you see me throw that in just now I think I didn't I think I was just too busy yapping my big mouth to throw it in so let's just sift a little bit in and not too much nothing too crazy and that's good and that will be you know like a little lunch before the gym situation 
and um, yeah. It's already like really toasted, isn't it? Come on, let go of it. Let go of it. <laughs> it's like, oh my God. <laughs> you can see I'm not a chef. Why Why did this happen? It just stuck to, to the, um, to the, uh, the egg like this. And I don't want it to do that. You know, I just want to grill it a little bit. You know, so this is kind of like brunch. Now it's a brunch, and um, so it's sort of grilled croissants with sunny side up eggs and a little bit of tomato. And that's going to give me some energy. Then I'm going to go to the gym and come back and see, you know, what I will have for dinner. So, yeah. At least I made it to the gym, so even if I only do 30 minutes, it's okay because it's my usual what I do anyway, and um, I don't have to work out at a pace that is, you know, I'm not trying to impress anybody, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm just trying to stay healthy and strong and fit to the you know extent that I can be under the circumstances and uh, I'm wearing my mask it's very miserable because it's hard to breathe already with my nose and then I'm wearing a mask but the minute I took it off you see what happened right the minute I took it off I'm like literally one of the last people in Paris to stop wearing my mask and I was one of the first one to begin <laughs> like literally like when I had a mask people were like where did you get that you're not supposed to be wearing a mask because the government says that it's not good to wear a mask because it was so stupid like I can't even believe what these governments said to people in the beginning of the COVID crisis and also the World Health Organization. Oh, a mask could actually make it worse. You know, I didn't listen to anybody. I wore my mask and I was one of the first ones and I didn't get it. But now, I don't know. I mean, I don't feel so great. But it could just be a sniffle, you know. I haven't had one of those in many, many years. So... I'm just going to treat it like it's just a sniffle. I mean, I did take my mask off a few times, you know, and maybe that was clearly a mistake. And also maybe because I, I haven't um, stopped wearing my mask, I could have reduced my own sort of immunity, my natural immunity. That's possible too. So as soon as you take it off, boom, you know. It attacks, but uh, at least I'm at the gym, okay? <laughs> so I'm not giving into anything like that. I'm like working out and frankly at my same pace. And then when I get home, I will make some soup. I'll make some. Uh, what do you call it? Some noodle soup without the chicken. Oh, I forgot all about the chicken. Oh. Well, I'm just going to make some noodle soup because I'm not really doing chicken for the moment. And, uh, yeah, just, you know, pamper myself a little bit and uh, try to get better. What about you? How do you pamper yourself when you're sick? Do you even pamper yourself when you're sick? You know who inspires me just to keep going even though I'm like feeling crappy? One of my students, I mean, he's like sick all the time. And he's like, teach I'm sick. <laughs> teach I have a sore throat. He calls me teach. And, um, but no matter what, I mean, he's still like, teach I'm running a marathon tomorrow. He just literally got through telling me that 
he's sick and he's running a marathon. So I'm like, oh, okay. So I'm sick. I'm going to the gym, okay? Because I'm not going to be some little weak little puff. Some little macaroon, okay? <laughs> I'm not going to be a chocolate macaroon. I'm tough, baby. Tough, tough, tough. All right, so I think I want to do three kilograms. Sometimes I do four kilograms, but I don't think I have it in me today. So we're going to go with this one. Three kilograms. So, okay, so I'm working on an article about souvenirs, like Paris souvenirs and five things you should bring home from Paris. But then it got to 10 on my list, so I have to change that to 10 things you should bring home from Paris. And in no particular order, I say macaroons, wine, branded Paris products like cloth bags, aprons, things like that, which you get on Rivoli, Gironde salt, and Dijon mustard. Um, the Eiffel Tower as a keychain, you know, keychain with the Eiffel Tower, porcelain dishes, silk scarves, flea market finds like copper products, like copper pots, things like that for the kitchen, um, cheese, if you're brave, and also perfume. I think those are the 10 types of souvenirs that would be best for visitors to Paris. So there. Yeah. And if you want to get macaroons, definitely you've got to check out La Durée, which is um, in the Madeleine, near Madeleine in central Paris. Um, I think Rue Royale, something like that in central Paris, you can get a uh, lot of Ray's macaroons. And they're very, very famous for that. And the website is um, www ladurée.fr so yeah just yesterday i thought i would do a really quick video on travel packages to the olympics in paris next year um i went to the the website paris 2024 here and um if you want any information on the olympics next year in paris you just go to www paris2024.org slash English, if, if English is your language. And so you, I clicked on travel packages and they seem to have quite a bit of information at this website, hospitality travel parish packages.paris2024.org. So check it out. So yeah, someone asked me yesterday about the Olympics in Paris next year. And so I would recommend that if you are planning on coming to Paris next year, you should check out this website, www.paris2024.org slash en for English, if English is your language, because I am not obviously an expert on the Olympics in Paris next year. So I would have to look up the information anyway. And this is the website where you would do it. Now, in terms of travel packages, um, you know, you would click on the link in from the website, um, Paris 2024, and you have just all this information on tailor-made travel packages for the Olympics. So, I mean, you, you really should check out this website immediately if you're interested. In terms of the best airline to fly to France, especially from the U.S., I mean, it, it's, you know, it's a debate. It's a debate. I have quite often flown Delta to Paris from New York, like Hartsfield, Jackson, Atlanta, JFK, New York, something like that, to, to Paris. And uh, so I would say Delta is a very good airline. And according to the research I've done, it seems that, you know, Air France is obviously number one, you know, and then Delta is second according to a lot of the, the, the lists that I have consulted. And um, it really, I think it comes down to a personal choice because I, I think everybody has different experiences with different airlines. And, um, you know, American Airlines is also... 
Oh, this is the last thing I should probably be eating. It's like some fromage blanc. What is fromage blanc in English? It's like white cheese. It's like, it's kind of yogurt-ish, right? Sort of, you know, yogurt without sugar kind of thing. But I think this kind of stuff makes you more congested, not less congested. So in theory, I shouldn't really be, be eating this now when I feel like it. But yeah, it's part of my pampering. Because <laughs> I'm working on some stuff over here. And, um, you know, it's very, very... Oh, 10 points. You see that? 10 points. I mean, it's just like, oh my God. So with that, the congestion and everything, I'm just eating, eating, eating. So there's no one in sight, basically. All right, so I'm going to make some noodles, but not with chicken, but it's just some noodles. <laughs> I'm going to put some um, some of this these one of these bouillon cubes in it it's like a chicken um, bouillon cube and that's it you know that's all you know there's there isn't going to be any chicken in it and that's going to be dinner pretty much all right so this is the dinner for tonight and i'm sitting here at my computer and i'm going to slowly eat it and hopefully by tomorrow i'm going to be back to it being new because you know so this is just noodles but a bouillon cube like a chicken bouillon cube and some herbs with you know a little bit of coarse salt and um and that's it so okay dinner these dates look like they absolutely went through like the second world war or something <laughs> but that's my dessert for today so yeah bon appetit to me